Hello everybody. Welcome back. Or should I say, um, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. I am so sorry. I had to go out of town unexpectedly for a few days, so I know I'm behind, but I promise I'll catch up. Today's video. Oh, how are you all? I hope you're doing well. I am so humbled by all of your comments and I promise, I promise, I promise I'm trying to get to all of them. You're all so wonderful. And to all of my new subscribers, thank you so, so much. I, I don't even know where to begin. I, I just keep, while I was away, um, I was very busy and um, I'll explain in another video, but um, I, I was I kept seeing YouTube notifications and I'm like oh my gosh I, I I can't keep up I can't keep up but in any event welcome 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 a warm welcome thank you so much but I am so glad to be back and I'm so glad you're back and I hope that you'll join me today for a very um a different video a sort of an updated video while I was away. I did get a lot of comments from a new from a lot of new subscribers on um, printing on different things that I've been printing on for the last year, and so I thought I would start with the um, um <laughs> I, I thought I would start there's so many I thought I would start with the doilies now there's several reasons why I want to start with the doilies but the main reason is is that um, I just want to go over a few things. When I originally put up that video, it was very swift. Um, I had posted in a, face, in a Facebook group that I had printed on doilies and I wanted to show them. And so um, I just kept getting like hundreds of comments that how did you do this? How did you do this? So I just stopped what I was doing and I put up a very swift video. It's not a good video. So what I thought I would do is revisit that so that everybody is quite sure as to how to do it and not jam your printer, okay? Or not get glue in your printer or, I mean, there's just been several, several people who have been, um, you know, over the past several months, six months or so since I did that video that had trouble with getting things, you know, being able to print on the doilies. Now I print on as um, any of my followers that have been following me for the last a little bit over a year, you know I print on just about everything. I mean, if it's paper, I print on it. If it's tracing paper, I print on it. If it's doilies, napkins, um, I print on a lot of things that a lot of people don't print on. So. That said, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and show you, I'll start with the doilies because those were the most comments that I've received in the last, I want to say week, is, um, you know, um, have, you know, people having trouble. So let's revisit that, shall we? And then I will show you some other things that I've printed on in the past, especially for all of you that are new so that you can also do the same thing a lot of other people have been doing and having success at it. And I want you to, to have success at it. That's why I do what I do, to be able to share what I do in hopes to inspire you to do the same because a lot of the results are beautiful and very, very versatile. So we'll start with the doilies now. Before we get started, I'll show you some that I've printed on. Where are my files? Huh. I knew this would happen. I knew it. I knew if I moved something. Oh, they're right here beside me. <laughs> My dear Lord. Okay, everything's beside me. So let's start with printing on the doilies. I mean, there's several things we're go I'm going to show you as long as we have time. But the first thing I'll show you is printing on doilies. Now here's my doilies. They're actually needing very, very, very late sending to um, a person who is a dear friend. And um, 
I've been promising her doilies for a very long time. And so I did these um, when I got home today. And um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to turn on the camera. But anyway, this is how I print on doilies. And um, this is what they look like. Now, I've used um, the same doilies um, you can, because I wanted you to be able to see that these are just doilies from the Dollar Tree. Um, you can get them at the party store. You can get doilies pretty much anywhere. They're just paper doilies, okay? And these are just, um, let's see. These are just some that I ha I'm trying to keep the checks with the checks. But anyway, this is how they come out, okay? And I, I, I won't go through all of them, um, obviously, because there's many. Here's another one I thought that I would print her. It's quite pretty. I know she likes blue, and I know she likes pink, and I know she likes purple. I kind of, you know, went through some things that she had, and so um, she doesn't have a printer, and that's why I want to do this for her. She's a dear, dear friend, and um, I just wanted to do this for her. So, And here's another suggestion when you do print on doilies, and I'll show you, but... You could either, when you do print on your doily, you end up with this. You could also print on the other side, and you could use this in your journal like this, okay? Or you could take this and run it back through your printer and print, say, script over, you know, over this. But then your script would end up, you know, on here. But that's just a suggestion. I, I was going to throw this away, and I was like, wait, <laughs> I'll show them that. And then this is just a different kind of doily. You can also get these at party stores or what have you. Actually, I think that, no, it's the same collection, but not the same page. These are from Angela Kerr Designs. And these are from, I'm pretty sure these are called Wild Flower Wishes, if you're looking for these. Um, the uh, polka dots and, um, the polka dots and the um, the polka dots and checks. I know I have polka dots in here. Oh no, they're in another file. I kept the checks separate. But anyway, they're also um, from Angela Kerr Designs if you're looking for those. They're very, very versatile, perfect for spring and summer, and they come in a multitude of colors. These aren't even all the colors I printed. I've also printed all the greens. I printed every color and both the checks and the polka dots. And then these, I just thought, oh, they're really pretty. And I had already printed this one, so I thought I'd print it on a round one so that you could see the difference, okay? And like I said, very, very easily to access these at any party store or Dollar Tree if you have one in your area, okay? And um, then, that's another check. And um, this should be another check. Oh, no. This, I um, printed on this. Okay. This is from Raindrop Lila. And I don't remember the name of the kit, but I wanted to print a blue one. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is not Raindrop Lila. This is... Um, uh, Souvenir de la France. Her blue kit. Um, she just came out with it, but that's what that is. But this is not the doily that I printed on here. This printed on a different one, okay? So, which I have in a different package. <laughs> I just wanted to show you that. And here, again, is one page that I, well, wait a minute. First, I printed the doily on here, okay? So, I'm just giving you some examples of what you can do and, the, you know, how you can do it. So here is this one, if I can line it up properly, okay? Can you see, am I in frame? So here is the doily, and here is, uh, well, I'm not lining that perfectly, but you can see pretty much, right? So there's the doily. I placed the doily on the paper, and then I ran it through my printer. Now my printer is a regular HP inkjet printer, nothing special. It's about five years old maybe, 
maybe longer. I had one and then um, I had it for about 10 years. Something happened to it. It was insured. I paid a dollar and they sent me a box and they sent me a new one. So there it is. Sent it through my printer. Then I took it off and then I picked a different one. As you can see, it's not, it doesn't matter whether, no, it's right side up. Um, so then I picked a different image so that if you wanted to have something like this in your journal, as you turn your page, you've got something like this, or, you know, you could even do something, well, well, yeah, you could, I mean, you could do something with this and put it here. I mean, there's just so many things you can do. You know, you could cut possibly half, say that half, and leave this half and use it as a tuck spot. I'll show you. So you could do something like this, right? Because it's a different, it's from, well, no, it's from the same page. But it looks different. Oh, because I have it upside down. Okay. No, I I, I don't know. Where does it go? It goes here. So you could do something like this, right? Or even on this side. Well, no, you'd probably put it on this side. You could fold this and use it as a tuck spot. Okay? Just There's so many ways you can use them. There's so many ways that I've used them. And I just wanted to show you those. Okay? So now I will show you how to do it without jamming your printer because I never have. So I don't, you know, I just wanted to review. And like I said, that's a very old video and I wanted to revisit it because so many people who are new followers have visited that particular, I've noticed that they've visited that particular one. So let's get started. What we're going to do is I always use parchment paper because I don't want to get any glue here. I don't want any glue on anything except the doily, okay? And obviously I have some paper here because the doily has to go on some paper. So I'm just going to take a doily out of my little doilies. You can use small ones. You know, you could put a bunch of small ones on here. I mean on here and run it through and then have a whole bunch of small ones or you could possibly fit two of the eight inch. You could do two six inch for sure. I've done two six inch before. These are, I think, I think they're four inch. Yeah, these are the four inch. So you could get several on here and run them through and they'd be really cute. Okay, I don't have any of these left. So, okay, so let's take a doily. I think this one is uh, let's do this one. So now what you want to do is make sure it's peeled apart, which that one is, okay? And you've got your parchment paper, okay? So now this is your nice side, so you want to glue on the opposite side, okay? Now, I have purchased Scotch Create Repositionable Glue. I do not suggest this glue because even if, like even right now, this has been cleaned with, you name it, it's been cleaned with my um, hand sanitizer, it's been cleaned with hot soapy water, it's been cleaned with you name it, and I can still feel that it's a little sticky. You don't want your hand sticky, you don't want anything sticky, okay, nothing. So what I suggest, absolutely, no question about it, like I said in my first video, the cheapest Elmer's washable school glue. Okay, it's right here. This is the best glue to use if you're going to print on doilies. And this is how we do it. So we're going to take this and I really would, oh, it is perfect. This is another thing. If you can get the colored Elmer's washable school glue, even better because watch, you can see where you start and then you don't have to just say, oh wait, where did I start? If you don't have a colored one, then grab a pencil and simply do this. You're not gonna see it anyway. It's gonna be on the opposite side, unless 
you want to wait for the you know any glue residue to dry then you can flip this over and and print on the other side okay okay so let's get started am i in view am i in camera i want everybody to see this watch i'm going to simply take my glue and i am not putting the glue on my doily i'm putting it beside my doily and i'm making sure that i'm getting plenty of glue there i also have my printer set to print okay my my image is chosen and it's already set and ready to print so when i put this on my paper I am going to be able to print it. You don't want to have to be like, okay, well, the doy is on there and then search for something you want to print on because that it just won't work. I mean, it would, but your doily is going to start lifting off of your paper. All right, so now I have a lot, you know, I have plenty of school glue there. I'm just making sure I have enough. And it's just the school glue. It's a dollar at the or dollar twenty five at the Dollar Tree. I just want to make sure I have enough on there for the whole. Not just this one, but if I were gonna do, you know, two or three, this is or four or five, this is about how much I would put on there because it dries, you know. And you definitely need like parchment paper, wax paper will work. Um, you know, anything like that. Clean hands. They're nice and dry. I am taking the glue. I'm putting it on my fingertip. I am going around my doily like so. Just the edges. Okay? I'm just doing the very edges. I'm not getting any glue on those little holes. I'm doing my edges only. I'm going to bring you down a little bit so you can see, okay? Hold on. I didn't know how to do that when I did my last video. <laughs> I didn't even have a good camera. See? I'm just putting it along the edges. And I'm doing it quite quick because, like I said, this... This glue doesn't dry. It dries. It dries pretty fast. And I mean, if you do get it in one of your holes, it's okay. But as long as you get your edges, then you should be good. And you're just tacking it, really. You know, you're just making it tacky. You're not really putting a lot of glue on there. You don't need to. You're just making it tacky. Like a, um, almost like a, um, um, one of these. <laughs> My brain, it didn't come in with me. Post-it note. Okay, so it's just tacky. And my pencil line is there, and that's a pretty much, I think, where I started. I'm just making sure because the purple has pretty much gone away. But see, I had my pencil mark there, so I'm pretty sure I've gone all the way around. And like you can see, I haven't really done anything but these edges. And yes, it's time consuming, but so is anything else in, you know, any kind of art, paperwork, you know, paper, if, if you want, you know, something like this in your journal or, you know, making cards or, I mean, there's several things that I do with doilies, so, and I just think this makes it prettier. Now, I did notice one of my friends, Phyllis. Hi, Phyllis, if you're watching, welcome. She's a joy. Now, Phyllis was able to get some in England that were printed, which I was very surprised. I don't know why. The party stores don't sell them printed. I have noticed in the past that some do, but they're wedding. And um, I, I actually am talking and I need to pay attention. So 
I'm gonna put that aside. Now, I have a little bit of glue on my finger, so I'm gonna just take and get that glue. You know, I mean, it's not a lot, but I just don't want my hands sticky. I have a towel, as you can see. I didn't mean to put that in your face. I'm going to now flip this over and I am going to place it wherever you want to place it on your paper and you're pressing it down and make sure you go along your edges like this and press them down. Okay. There is no glue coming through. There's no glue on my paper and everything is stuck down. Okay. And I'm using regular copy paper. So I'm just going to make sure that everything's stuck down, which it is. And I am going to put this in my printer this way because that's the way my printer feeds. Okay? And it goes in this way and around and out this way. Okay? So let me do that for you. Don't want to hurry because I don't want to make any mistakes, but I don't want to keep you all day. So let's just print. Let's pick something. Well, I already have something picked, so I'm just going to print it, okay? It's going to be the same. You've seen this already, but it was already set up, so that's the way I want to do it. Now, don't throw away this because it's still, it's still tacky. Now, when I print, I do print on my best setting. So it does take a little bit longer to print. And the reason I do that is because if I don't, then, um, especially with doilies, because, you know, they're just like copy paper. If I don't print on my best setting, let me lift you back up again so that you're not looking at purple. If I don't print on my best setting, sorry about that if I made you dizzy. If I don't print on my best setting, then um, let me straighten you out a little bit. If I don't print on my best setting on a, on a doily, it comes out very faded, okay? So now, as you can see, here is what came out of the printer. Here's what came off. There's no glue residue anywhere. There is no glue on my doily. None, zero, none. Okay, now, if you want to print on another doily, there's two ways you can do it. Because I'm so experienced, I'm not even gonna show you the other way to do it. I want you to continue, if you're going to do this, I want you to do it. I am, for me, I'm going to ask you to continue doing it the way I just showed you. That is going to give you your best, most gorgeous results, okay? And that's it. I mean, it, it's just beautiful, it's glorious. So that's how to print on a doily. This is what you have left. You can do many things with this. You can use it in a journal, like I said, and I've done that many times. You could even use it in a, joy in a journal if you're doing tall skinny. Um, you can print on the other side a document so that, you know, when you have it in your journal, you've got a doc. You can print anything on the other side if you wanted to print on the other side. Okay? Okay. So that takes care of doilies. Moving on. Let's print on tissue paper. I got my thinnest tissue paper I have. Okay? The thinnest. Now, why do I have this? Well, because I ordered tissue paper and they sent me this and it was wrong, but I kept it anyway because I thought it's so thin, 
I don't have any. It was very inexpensive, so I use it for many things, many, many things. And I'll show you a few examples. So I'm just gonna try and get a piece out. Now it's longer than my eight and a half by 11, but that's not an issue, obviously. So this is tissue paper that you would use to wrap a gift in, okay? That is the same weight. Now, how do we print on that? So simple. All you're going to do is take your glue. Where's my, what did I do with my piece of? You wanna take your glue, make sure now you're not I'm going to fold that up just so that we don't get any glue anywhere but where we want it. Okay? So, you want a clean sheet. You want a piece of paper, 8.5 by 11. That's what goes through my printer. If you have a bigger one or, or a smaller one or whatever, then, or A4, A5, I, I don't know, whatever you use. Okay? All you're going to do is take, again, your school glue. Am I in frame? Gosh, I hope so. Okay, we're gonna take our school glue. Here's the parchment paper. We're going to take the, the school glue. We're going to run it along the edge of our eight and a half by 11 or A4, whatever you have. Do you see how much I have on there? That's how much you put. Now you're going to take your tissue paper and all you're going to do is line your tissue paper up. And if you don't have tissue paper that's the size 8.5 by 11 or A4, or A5, whatever you're using, I suggest that you cut your paper first. I know a lot of people will do this and cut around it, but it's been my best you know, if you're using tissue paper, for me, it works best if you cut it first. Now down here, it doesn't matter. I know that it's not gonna, see, you have, there's a line here and a line here because it's not an exact size. But when you print your paper, you're not going, it doesn't matter because that's about the same size as you have around here anyway. So you're gonna end up with a full page. So what I'm gonna do next is move this where I don't wanna get anything dirty. I have clean hands, there's no glue on them. I'm simply gonna cut that edge off because that will not work in my printer. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut it off like so. Now all I'm going to do is take this, here's where I glued it on. I'm going to put it in my printer where I glued the tissue paper on. I didn't glue anything else, just this edge. Okay? Okay, so we're gonna print this. And I'll pick something different. Just so that you can see something different. Okay, hold on. Let me go back up here. And we'll do, let's see, something really pretty. Open. I love this print. This is from Raindrop Lila. And I'm actually working on something of hers right now. So I, I've got that open. So I'm just going to print something of hers. I mean, this kit is so gorgeous. It's called the Margaret Tall Layout is what I'm going to print. And I think I'll print this one. There's just so many to choose from. It's just crazy. But I'm going to print this one. Okay. This is tissue paper, exactly like you would use in a gift. And I would take the time to cut it down and press it. Okay, 
my hands are clean, but I don't want to take any chances of getting any glue on anything. Even though I don't feel sticky, I just, you know, it's just, it's just the way I do things. You can, you know, you're more than welcome. I even will clean this just in case because, you know, I, I don't think I got any glue on it, but I just want to make sure. There's actually a little bit of some kind of something on there. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm sure it's old. My print is being very finicky because I've been printing for about two hours. See, so I just want to make sure no glue. That way you can't, you know, you don't have to worry. Are you ready? Here it is. And here you go. There's your tissue paper. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Now you can use it for a gift. You can use it for your journal, okay? You can do, you can tear it like a napkin and do collage. So many things you can do and that's all you have to do. There's no sticky residue on this at all. No place. This was where I didn't, you know, where the edge of that, of that printable, because I didn't print it full sheet. Okay? So that's why you have that edge. I didn't print it full to page, if that makes sense. Not full to page, but borderless is what I'm trying to say. So there you go. That's your tissue paper. And even this, no sticky residue. If you follow exactly the way I did it, you won't have a problem. I promise. That's it. Okay. So that's tissue paper. What else do I print on? I already showed you the doilies. Um, let me pull this out and see what this is all about. Okay, so here are the other things I print on. This is tissue paper, like I showed you before, okay? I just showed you one that I did, all right? You know why this is still sticky? I did this this morning. I used this. I do not suggest it. It's still sticky. Can you see that? Can you feel that? I used the school glue like I had originally used. I wanted to show you the difference. I used the school glue that I had originally used. You saw it, there is no sticky, none. But I did this on purpose because I wanted to show you that, where is it? If you do use that, I didn't do it this morning, I did it about an hour ago. It's still sticky. Now, when it dries, I'll be able to erase that off, but it's still sticky. <laughs> Drives me nuts. Okay, so why did I print this twice? Oh, okay, so this I wanted to show you. Again, let me close this so you can see the difference. This is printed on tissue paper, the same tissue paper as I just showed you. I'm sorry about the wrinkle, it was outside. Um, because on this piece of tissue paper, after I printed on it, as you can see, this is from Raindrop Lila. This is her bird's something. Um, the reason why it's wrinkled is because I had it outside and it was very breezy where I had hung it up to dry for a minute, um, because I had sprayed it with the Crystal Clear, which I had shown in another video. This is Crystal Clear acrylic coating. It's um, non-yellowing. I've used it for years on everything. Do not spray it in the house. Spray it outdoors, okay? Because it's hazardous, it's pink, it's flammable, it's dangerous, it's whatever. But it's not gonna kill you as long as you lay it down. You can even lay it down on the grass. I actually have a tarp, so I just lay it on the tarp. 
I give it a very, very quick spray. I shake this really well, and I'll show you. I'm not going to show you in here. I'm not going to actually spray it. But let me just open it up, and I'm going to just, well, I won't even open it up. This is what I do. I lay it on the top like this, and I go just like this. That's it. It dries immediately. I flip it, and that's it. But I don't do it that close. I'm out whatever it says to come out. Uh, hold on. It says, okay, so, yeah, I go about 10 inches. It says 10 to 12 inches. So I go about 10 inches away. I shake it really good before I even put it down. I shake this really good in the house before I go outside. Today it was very windy. So um, I laid it on the tarp. I sprayed this side real quick, 10, about 10 inches away, flipped it real quick, sprayed it, flipped it real quick, and just let it sit in the sun for about two minutes. Not in the sun, actually. It wasn't even in the sun. It was just laying out there because, you know, it has a little bit of an odor to it when you first spray it, but the odor, I mean, there's no odor on it now. There is no odor on it at all. You could actually bring it right in the house. But I, I just like to be cautious. That's all. So I wanted to show you the difference of one that's sprayed on both sides. This is sprayed on both sides. So see, it says Raindrop Lila. You turn it over. You can still see it's, it's like a um, stained glass. All right. See how it says Raindrop Lila? It's backwards. Okay. So, oops. so here's another one. This is on tissue paper. I did, I did not spray this at all. I didn't spray the front and I didn't spray the back. And here's the difference. And it's still sticky because I used that other glue on purpose so I could show you. This was hours ago. Not bad, but it's still annoying. And here you go. This is not sprayed. I'll get the other side. This is sprayed. Can you see the difference? Let me bring you down a little bit. Well, you know what? I won't even bring you down. I'll do this. Can you see the difference? Let's do, for example, the difference between this one and this one. Okay, let me pull it closer. Take it off of here. Hold it up. <laughs> we're, we're on the same side. It's so hard to show you. It's on the same side. We're backwards. Okay, but you have to spray both sides. I saw a lot of people on Facebook that did this after I did it on one of my videos. And because they didn't spray... This is how it came out. You know, you saw it wasn't see-through. As you can see, we're still on the same side. See, we're still on the back. But if it's sprayed, this is the difference. It's so hard to show you. But anyway, maybe if I do this. Okay, so let's just take any one of these really we'll take this one this is the front that's the back this is the sprayed one this is the front this is the back this has not been sprayed okay i hope that you can see the difference back front. This is one of the lightest ones on the page. Front, back. Okay? Okay. Let's move on. So, tracing paper. The lightest weight. That's actually tissue paper, not tracing paper. I am so sorry. That is tissue paper, not 
tracing paper. The next thing I wanted to show you is printing on vellum. This is a vellum bag, as you can see. Glassine, sorry, not vellum. This is glassine. It's a plain white glassine bag that comes in a package. You can get them anywhere while well, in the United States. It's difficult to get them pretty much anywhere else. But I know that you can get them in the United States, okay? So here's your glassine bag. You can get them on Etsy. You can get them on Amazon, I think. Yeah, you can get them on Amazon, except if you live in Europe, you can't. So here's your glassine bag. Here's another one I printed. Here's another one I printed. This one I printed on both sides. This one has been printed just on one side. Okay, so you can make up your mind or choice as to what you want to do, how you want to print it. So, would you like me to print on one? What time are we at? 41? I don't think I need to show you. I'll just show you how I did it. Again, where is it? You want to, I'll do it. If you want to stay and watch, great. And if you don't, that's great too. What did I do with my piece of, um, I'll get another one. Fine. Hold on. I'm getting another piece of parchment paper. And like I said, you could you could use wax paper, you can use whatever you want. And I'll show you how we can print on a glassine bag. Okay? Now, I always spray my glassine bags because in it just you'll never ever have to worry about it the ink coming off. Because glassine is like wax. Okay? So I do spray my glassine. Okay, just so you know, you don't have to, you know, after a while, it's not going to come off. This is a different print. After a while, it's not going to come off. Um, it depends on how soon you want to use it, if that makes sense. Okay? Okay, so let's print on it, shall we? And then I'll show you, if you don't have a printer, what you can do if you don't have a printer. Okay, so I want, this is how my glassine bag goes. I want this to fold down this way. So I am going to simply take my glassine bag, school glue. Go across here. And I'm going to go across the top as well. Okay, it's just school glue. And I'm going just along that edge. All right, and I'm going just along that edge. All right, and I am going to just take my glassine bag and I'm going to press it down here and I am going to press it down there and just make sure that you've gone up. What I should have done is shown you what I do is good, I press it down here and then I push it this way, okay? So then I know it's flat. You don't have to go all the way around. If you feel more comfortable going all the way around, then you can. There's no glue here, there's no glue here. Let's print on it. Because you don't want any glue getting into your wheels or anything of your printer, okay? I might, well, let's print. Um, let's see. I'll do this one. Print. And, oops, sorry about that. Print. Now on the glassine, I don't think it really, well, I don't know. I'm so used to using my best or my normal setting when I print that um, unless I will use draft if I want a lighter, 
if I want the colors to be lighter. And that's another story for another time. Right now we're printing. <laughs> So, so far, we've done tissue paper. We've got a glassine bag in there. And let me grab a doily that we did just now on camera so you can see it. Did we do tissue? Yep. Yeah. I'm sorry, folks. I just want to get that doily. I think I already put it in the folder. I did. Sorry about that. Did I? Hold on. Well, anyway. Hold on. Hold this. Just grab that one. <laughs> All right. So here is this this is the actual print in this kit and then again this is the Margaret Tall from Raindrop Lila. This and this is from um Angela Kerr. Thank God I'm only using two just in case because people ask. So now I'm just gonna take this off. I did put a little extra glue on there. I probably didn't have to. I'm going to take this off and show you. I just want to be careful. I did put a little bit of extra glue on that, which I didn't have to. So now here's what you have. Okay. Now, if you want to print on the other side, let me move these aside. If you want to print on the other side, all you have to do is take a paper towel, which is right here and make sure that there's no glue on your paper. Okay, make sure it's nice and dry where you put your glue. Get it off. And make sure there's no glue on here or here, because that's gonna go back to your printer. I just wanna be in frame. There's no glue there, but I'm just making sure. Yeah, nope. Nope, oh, no glue and not, the ink isn't coming off. So you really don't have to spray it, but okay. So now what you want to do is simply flip it and you want to take, what do I keep doing with my paper that I'm gluing on? Here it is. Make sure there's no glue anywhere and you will not have a problem. You're going to simply go along here. Sorry, I'm gonna bring you down again. Hold on, so you can see how much I'm doing. You ready? There you go. Can't really see it because it's on the glassine. Okay, see how much I put on there? I just went along the edge. It went more on the paper than I did on the edge. Okay, now I just want to take it. I flipped it over. I'm going to take it and put it right back where it was. And that's going to have to be close enough for government work for today, folks, because my eyes are tired and I'm tired and I spent four hours in a car today and I just wanted to visit everybody and tell y'all I was fine, I'm okay, everything's great, <laughs> everything's more than great. So now I just wanna, you know, I went around, I'm just, you know, for safety's sake, I'm just gonna do this just because I just wanna make sure it's nice and flat and there's no glue, even though there can't be because I didn't put any glue anywhere. Again, I'm going to put it back in my printer, okay? so that it will print on the other side. Now I want it to go the right way, so I have to pay attention here, because I usually, if I want it to print, 
on the opposite side. You know, if I wanted this to print on the opposite side, I'd just put it back in my printer like this and it would come through and it would be both sides. So I just want to make sure. Okay, how did I do this? I put it in my printer like this. So I'm going to flip it. I hope that works. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're going to get the point you can print on both sides. That's all that matters. If it doesn't come out the right way, oh well. And we will print. And we will... Let's do normal print and just see if there's a difference. I don't think there will be on a normal print on the glassine, but we'll check just so that you know. So here we go. We have Washable School Glue Stick by Elmer's. Purple if you can, because you can see it. And now I can take my cloth and I can even make sure that there's none on my paper. So if I wanna use this again, I can get it off and I won't have any glue residue. Okay. okay, so here we go. Did I put it in the right way? I did, <laughs> goodness. The Lord is with me, thank you. It's the right side up on both sides. I'm just gonna make sure there's no sticky residue. I shouldn't have done that. But at least now you'll see that you just take a paper towel or just wait a few minutes and it won't be sticky anymore. I'm not, I'm not waiting very long. There's none on here. I put a little bit too much on the top. I couldn't really see it. That was part of the problem. I, I can't even remember what side I just printed on, to be honest. And like I said, if it's still sticky, just wait. You know, just wait. It will dry and you'll be able to just rub it right off. Isn't that pretty? It's gorgeous. And now you can use this in your journal. You could put a, you know, Happy Meal in it. You could, I don't know. This, uh, I use these for thousands of things. So, and you still have this. Now, yes. You could make it so that, for example, I'm just thinking off the top of my head, peep. I really am just thinking off the top of my head here. You could take something like, this goes with it. If you had another piece of paper, say like this. I'm just trying to give you ideas, which is so ridiculous that I feel like I have to do that, but I really do because, you know, I just like to give you ideas. So, say this was in your journal. I didn't fold that very well, but say this was in your journal, okay? See, I can see some purple there. Watch. If it doesn't come all the way off, just use your pencil, like I showed you in many videos before. White eraser. I'm sorry if I'm in your face. I just wanted you to be close enough to see everything. A white eraser will take any glue residue off, even fabri -Tac, even art glitter glue. As long as it's dry, it will come right off. Okay, I do not have any residue. Perfect page, fold it in half. Just an idea, you could do something like this. So you open your page, right? This obviously has this part. It's fine. You could do anything with it, but you could also do something like this, okay? And I don't know, make it some sort of tuck spot or something. And over here, take, wish I was going to show you, but I think we're running out of time and I'll have to show you in tomorrow's video. But you could take an image 
that I have glassine that I have um, done on both tracing paper, a heavier weight tracing paper and sprayed. And you could take that, or just let's say we'll take this image, okay? And we could put this image here. Look at that. How pretty is that, okay? So you could do something like this. Only, yeah, it's backwards. <laughs> See, I can't tell the front from the back. But, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm just giving you an idea, like, sort of off the top of my head. Or you could even do something like this. You could put this one here. So, they, for example, I don't know. You'd have to fool around with it. You could put this one here. And then you could put another one here. And that would be so pretty when you opened it because you can see right through it, you know? Or you could put a piece of script here and then put, um, that's not sprayed. That's not the sprayed one. Dang. Hold on one second. You can run away if you want. I just wanted to show you. Here it is. Is this it? Oh my goodness. Where is that file folder that has all my images in it that I have done? It's probably right here. Nope. Let's see. It's right. Doilies. Tracing paper. Tea stained. Painted. I don't have it. It doesn't matter. You get the point. <laughs> okay. So I've done glassine. More glassine. More glassine. Doily. Tissue paper. You could do this on a napkin. And I was going to do that, but you know the white napkin, the white part of your napkin is the same thing. Cut it down to eight and a half by 11, just glue the very top because this is just like the tracing paper, only it's the white part of the napkin. Same exact process. So tracing paper, doily, glassine and I'll show you the rest tomorrow or in the next video because <laughs> I don't know when the next video will be anything can happen in my life I am so look at this is backwards okay there we go can't even tell you can tell on this one this one hasn't been sprayed if I spray the back of this it's gonna look exactly like the front okay so here you can tell the difference. Yay, this is better. Is this the sprayed one? <laughs> I can't tell anymore. See the, <clears throat> See the difference? This has not been sprayed on the back. See how vibrant that is? You're gonna get the same thing if you use this spray. Spray the front, spray the back, and it's going to be exactly the same on both sides. It won't be that white part anymore. Okay? It'll look exactly the same. So it's it's good that I had that because now you can see the difference. And then here's your glassine double-sided. Your glassine single-sided. You could do the other side of this. I just haven't. And then you have this and a whole bunch of other things I already showed you. So I hope that that was a helpful video and that you enjoyed your time with me because I certainly enjoyed my time with you. And I am so happy to be back and to know that everything is well with my family. So thank you for all of your lovely comments and well wishes and just for being you and... I don't even know which side that is, but it's pretty. It's all very pretty. So thank you both, Raindrop Lila Lydia and Angela Kerr at Angela Kerr Designs for your beautiful images that I was able to show today. And thank you all. Let me raise you up so you can see everything. Sorry about that. 
Thank you all so, so very much. Yes, that's my messy desk. I always make a mess when I am videoing. Um, thank you all so much for stopping by. Here is your glue. That's all you need. And some parchment paper. And, of course, copy paper. Okay? And if you want to spray it, here you go. Okay? Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. And I will, pr I promise, I have so many comments and I am trying to get to them as fast as I can. I love you all. Thank you so much for visiting. Until next time, be well, be kind, and God bless. Bye-bye, y'all.